I'm Stephen Zay. I make baskets in the traditional way of the old main basket makers, and I make them all by hand. They would go out in the woods with just an axe and a knife and use a brown ash tree to, to make a basket with a few simple tools. He's a man who definitely feels much better in the woods than he does <laughs> around a lot of people. He'll be gone for hours looking for trees. What I'm looking for is a straight grain tree that's free of knots and twists, and something that's really healthy and vigorous growing. It might be anywhere from 50 to 80 years old. After I've been making baskets a couple of years, I met a man, uh, his name was Eddie Newell. He was a Penobscot Indian basket maker. He showed me a lot about picking out the right tree, preparing the materials, designing baskets, making tools. It's, it's really hard to describe what the fascination with a basket is. Trying to control the shape and also controlling uh, the tension, it's like getting down to the basic elements of, of the wood. A basket is a wonderful thing and the brown ash has this quality to it. It lasts forever and just gets more beautiful as it ages. Eddie always said, learn to make small as well as big. So I started designing miniature baskets. A woman who collected my work contacted me. She said, uh, would you make me a piece in, in gold? He started making the gold jewelry and I make braided rings with the Turk's head knot and I make free woven bracelets I think people are fascinated by small things. It's something that's very appealing and it's something that people will cherish. One of the things that Eddie Newell always said to me, he said, there's, there's no shortcuts to quality. Sometimes it takes several tries. Sometimes it takes years to achieve that form that I'm striving for. I like the challenge of making something the, the best that I can. I think that each piece that I make, I try to make better than the last, and I'm always learning. I'm still learning even after 35 years of basket making.